Hi there everyone, this is Mailman Zero playing TNC Surf Design. Uh, TNC stands for Town and Country and Surf Design stands for 1987 Awesomeness. Uh, I will be relearning the controls along with you. Of course the controls in this game were never that good to begin with, but it's still incredibly fun and it's really kind of like two games in one, so we'll see what happens. Uh, here, oh I guess there's actually three. Um, Oh, no, because the wood and water rage is basically one and two put together. Uh, so up at the top you can see we've got a selection of characters there, and then we've got a one or two player selection for each of these. So let's start with the street skate session. And uh, here I can choose to be either the guy on the left or the guy on the right. Uh, I will be that guy, I guess. And we will start the game. So as you can see, I am a really cool guy. I can jump here on my skateboard and I can kind of do this thing where I hang back or go faster. Um, if I do hit this button, oh, stupid dog. If I hit this button, uh, if I hit the, the B button over and over, then I kind of kick my skateboard and go faster. And I can, if I hold the left arrow and, and jump, button, which is A, then I can jump without without jumping off my skateboard, or I can stay on my skateboard. Uh, not like that. Wow. So, that's how games used to work back in the day. You were dead in 30 seconds. So let's give this another try. Uh, I'll pick this guy again, just because. Okay, so let's get some speed up here. Collect some uh, coins along the way for points. And see if I can do this the right way. Oh yeah, look at that. That was awesome. Okay, now see there's a barrier coming up and I have to hold on to the skateboard to, to co clear that. So that's good. Done there. Oh yeah. Okay. Do it again. I continuously been pressing the B button here, hoping that more speed is better. This, uh, this is a lot more difficult than I'm making it look right now. But, uh, there we go. So I finished the first one. And I get bonuses for the time. And I guess I earned a bunch of lives along the way. So, uh, that's the first level, which I'm kind of familiar with in the recesses of my brain. Uh, I don't really recall anything after that, so this is all going to be me reacting to things as they come up, and trying not to get hit by anything. I'm getting really lucky on those. Those are are kind of tricky to get the jumps just right. Um, so see, I think it's almost the same level, but I think they add more to the end, or they, they change up some of the things along the way. I can't remember exactly. But, um, but yeah, I, I guess I'll just keep going. <laughs> this is actually a lot more fun than I remember it being. Um, it might be kind of lame to watch, though, now that I think about it. Maybe it's this, maybe it just repeats twice, and then you get something different. Maybe If I remember correctly, that might be it. We'll see here. So, yeah, already this is very different than last time. Oh, and I already ate it. But it starts me after the obstacle, which is kind of nice of them. And I tried to go below the baseball, and I eat it again. And I'm already dead. So you collect lives along the way. I'm going to go ahead and give that one one more try. This time I'll pick the other guy just for fun. Um, I don't think they have different abilities. But we'll see how this guy handles this. Is it me, or does the sky look different with this guy? The ground looks like it's a different color, too. Everything looks like it's a, like a palette swap. What? Oh! My skateboard must have hit the railing, and it starts me right before it, in a way that I almost can't even clear it. Alright. And as I go, I'm getting lives, I'm noticing. So, if you die near the beginning a couple of times, you're over. over. But if you can make it a little farther, then you get some more lives to deal with. And this game is really all about just getting points and getting as far as you can at the same time. So, uh, 
Yeah, there's there's nothing really to do with getting those coins. Like you can't upgrade things or do anything special. So I I think I set a high score last time. Let's see if I can beat it this time. Probably not with the lives that I've already lost. Although I guess it kind of resets. It's more about not failing in the moment than anything else. Ah, oh, and I already ate it. I remember this being so much harder as a kid. I, I think it just... I think that's pretty common. But, you know, you go come back to these games when you have a, a little bit more patience and manual dexterity, maybe? I don't know. But, um... I remember it being really hard even just to get to the end of one of these levels. And, um... Of course, some of it, too, is that I did play this a lot as a kid, so... All of this muscle memory is still there. I just have to access it. Okay, so that's pretty good. If I can keep from eating it two times in a row, maybe we can get farther into round three and see what else is there. But there are a few places, if I remember correctly, that are pretty tricky. There. Just try not to make things too difficult, you know? I, I, like that. Like, why did I even do that? There was no reason for me to do that. And I lost two lives on that, for some reason. I think you lose more lives later in the game, like they just take away more? I don't know. Like, I don't understand a game that takes away two lives when you die, but... I guess it gives you lives so frequently that they feel like they don't have to. And again, I'm not sure if the lives are based on time or based on points. Maybe the points are, like, giving me more lives. But I don't think so, because I'll get lives without getting points. So this is basically the same level as the first one, it's just... See that? I was on it, and I don't know why it didn't give me credit for that. But now I've got to somehow build up enough speed to make it over this, and it just... It's brutal. They just... They really hamper you. Okay. So if I can just make it to the end of this one, if there's no gotcha here at the very end, which there easily could be... Oh, but I run out of time. See, why even give you lies if you're gonna have time? Oh well. So, that one is easier for me to remember. That's the one I played the most as a kid. But I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate. I mean, this is surf design. It's not really supposed to be a skating game. It's supposed to be a surfing game, I guess. Although they did do surfing gear. So let's go ahead and do the big wave encounter. And my favorite was always to play as the gorilla. But this is the one where I, I don't think I even figured when I was a kid how to play this. So I'm going to just hit the buttons and go nuts here. Okay, so I got some points there for doing some tricks in the pipe. But I died at the same time. So if I remember correctly, you're really supposed to be like... I don't remember the points to or the not the points, but I don't remember the controls to do it, but I'm supposed to be like every time I go up I'm going backwards and I don't really know why. I'm supposed to be able to kind of go away from this wave, and I, I know that you can do it. I just can't remember how. So this is a pretty terrible showing. Okay, okay, here we go. Wait, what? Okay. So that's great, but I just, I'm not getting any points. You're supposed to go up off the top of the wave. And I can't really make this happen. Yeah, that was, that was terrible. We'll give that one another shot. This time I'll play as the cat. I think it's a cat. And see if I can remember how to play this at all. Am I supposed to hold down a button or something? I mean, I, I really... I don't see how this is possible to go. <laughs> I know that I've done this before. Maybe I'm supposed to be hitting a button repeatedly. I'll try a couple of button combinations here and see what happens. Okay, I keep getting points for getting close to the thing, but you're supposed to be able to go up off the top without going backwards toward the pipe, and I don't remember how to do that. 
I'm really kind of confused here. And now there's like all these things in the way. I don't... I'm, I'm not seeing anything here. So, yeah, this game is much better than I'm giving it credit for <laughs> right here. Or maybe it's not really, and I just want it to be. Okay, I just push straight down. Okay, I'm gonna give this, like, one more chance. I looked at the instruction manual, and it was not really that much help. So, uh... We'll do the gorilla again. So it turns out A and B, all they do is like lean you forward and back, which I don't see how that's very helpful. But I don't see it even moving my character. Maybe it's just something that he does. It says that the goal of this is to get like as far forward as you can. So, but it takes so much time to turn around. I don't see how this is possible. But, okay, so I'll, I'll go up here. Now I'm just going backwards again. I, I just, I don't see how it's possible. So, yeah, I'm, I'm in there. I come up a little bit, I go this way. Every time I go up, I lose ground instead of gaining any ground. And then I just die, so what's the point? But yeah, it says there's supposed to be a beach if you go far enough to the right. What? Okay, all I did was hold the right arrow button. I don't think that's really the way to, to get there every time. It was just because I died after making progress three times, I think. If I just hold straight forward, I just die, so... Like, I don't know what happened last time. I th am I supposed to go past the pier and then I'm good? Like, once I see the pier, then I can just... go for it? And then I'm dead. But I got extra life there. Uh, there I go again. I guess you just see the pier and then you just go to the right and you get lucky. And then you go on to the next round. Not exactly a game of skill at this point, because I have none. I'm sure there's someone who's super awesome at this that can demonstrate how I'm failing miserably by doing this, but, um, yep, yeah, I'm gone again. This is probably just ridiculous to watch, because it, honestly nothing is happening. Maybe if I go straight up to begin with, let's, let's try that and see what happens. Straight up, and I'm dead. So straight up doesn't work. What if I go, like, diagonal? I don't think the diagonals do anything. I can't see anything that it's doing, and there I just hit a guy and died, so... But I only lost one life, so we get one last chance to get hit by that. So, yeah, we just didn't spend a lot of time on the uh, surfing game, for obvious reasons, but I like this game. And I think it's an NES classic. I think everything looks prettier when you pick this guy. So you might want to go as him. Again, I don't think it changes anything about how the game runs. Um, one thing that I did find out, though, is uh, you do get lives based on time. Also, there's like a... Yeah, there's a... You can, like, ride the rail up here, which is kind of cool. I didn't get points for it the second time, though, which I don't understand why. Maybe you have to do it for a certain amount of time. Oh, and I went into... I always thought that was, like, tar or something, but it's not really anything. Anyway, I'll uh, show you how to die a couple of times, because that's awesome. But... Again, this is a recommended game, so give it a try. And focus your energy on the skateboard portion. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Join me next time. Bye.